State Norfolk and ODU police are looking for those who attacked members of the university rugby team. We first told you about this over the weekend, just blocks from the campus at a party on Melrose Parkway. Two students are still in the hospital. Then your side's Aaron Kelly has more on the safety concerns. And Aaron, do we know how the victims are doing tonight? Well, I talked to the father of one of the victims. He told me that his son is still on a respirator, that five of his front teeth are knocked out, and that he has metal plates in his jaw after having surgery. Now, there's a post that was put on the ODU Rugby's Twitter page. It says, quote, what happened last night to some of our teammates was a disgrace and a tragedy. Please pray for them and their speedy recovery. This is supposed to be one of the safest neighborhoods, you know, in Norfolk, and the fact that all this is going on is just outrageous. I can't believe it. Echo Riggs slept right through it. What ODU's rugby coach called a senseless attack that he says sent three players to the hospital, including Captain Michael Regal. His father says there was a private party early Sunday morning on Melrose Parkway. Some guys tried to get in. The people inside wouldn't let them, so the people trying to get in threw a chair at a window. Regal's father says his son came downstairs to confront the guys, and someone beat him. You'll have crowd surges in the streets, which is sort of an incubating ground for violent activity. Neighbor Karina Soma says she plans to go to ODU with some of her concerns about the area. It certainly is sending out an alarm. And, you know, my great hope is that ODU will rise to the occasion because they do have a public trust. Mm -hmm. And it's not just their image here that's at stake, it's actually the lives of people. And ODU's rugby coach said another player will need facial surgery. Another player was treated and released. They do have a game this weekend. Um, we did have some questions about what happened here. We wanted to ask police about that. Uh, we wanted to ask ODU about that, about ensuring campus safety. Uh, the police department did not get back to us yet with uh, information, although they say they're going to send an update. ODU referred our questions to police, and I just learned that they said that N uh, Norfolk police will be sending out a press release tomorrow to answer our questions and we do as I mentioned have a lot about what happened and what happens going forward to make sure that the campus community stays safe for now we're live in Norfolk Aaron Kelly 10 on your side